This is Model S P85 uh, with 018 DTC. We made diagnostic with my, scan my Tesla, which is enough in theory. Uh, and we have we, we have, have seen here that we have big delta on the brick tree. This is actually yeah big brick tree with 300 millivolts delta. Car stops charging are something around 70 percent, and it was the block one. But in case in in case we in any case when we repair the defect block or we change it, we always put it in the position nine, and we put the position nine now on the position one. So we will try to find which cell is in defect in complete block uh, in all of the four, 444 cells, and well, let's see how we will isolate it. Hi guys, sorry I didn't make any new video for four or five months because we are really, really overloaded and we want to, to debunk something about Model S. This is Model S from 2013 with a defect uh, battery pack. I will show you now what is the problem and how we will solve it. One block has six bricks, six zones, one, two, three, four, five and six. Scan my Tesla told us that we have issue with this zone and if you can see I marked it here this is zone 3 completely till this zone and uh, depleted brick by one cell was at 3.27 and the healthy one was 3.59 that means we will need to recharge this brick and we will try, need to try to find the defect cell. We already did that. We have we cannot show that uh, publicly how we how we traced it. But this is the brick with self discharge. It's compl comp constantly dropping down the voltage, and it depleted almost 60, 60, 600 millivolts in less than twenty minutes. Now. We will use our special tool to extract this cell. Then we will balance this cell to this brick and we will recharge this brick when we change the cell. So it is all even with the voltage with maximum four, four millivolts of delta. And we will solve the car just by changing one cell. That means when we recycle one block, 443 cells from one block, let's say, from defect Tesla, we can repair 443 Teslas at the same time. That doesn't mean we, we sold it for, for extended years, period of years, but let's say uh, this this battery pack will probably drive without problem uh, next two or three years until uh, next cell dies. So we will drop the price and we will probably just uh, for expression of uh, possibility, we will repair this block to this customer for free and we will change this one cell for free which costs something around one euro. So the cell is out. This one is was completely in defect. Now we are preparing the second one. This one has something around 29 milli ohms of internal resistance and 2.9 amp hours of capacity so we will change it weld it and we'll balance it on the bench so we can assemble the battery pack new cell is in all is out right now we are balancing the brick i think we have something around the three point three point forty four we will need at least one or two hours to recharge it so we will be able maybe in one day to finish the complete battery pack with uh, cell extraction change balancing and assembling new cell is inside now we are welding the fuse fuse welded and protected from a galvanization issue now with exclusive tool directly connected to BNB and after the charging of the depleted brick complete block is uh, absolutely perfect balanced 
between two and three millivolts is the best. And as you can see, this is perfect. Almost same voltage on all six bricks. And after that, uh, we will assemble the battery pack and assemble the car. So we will test it for three days. And after that, if everything is successful, uh, we will deliver the car. This is the old cell. And this is Tesla recycle bin for the cells. This is, re this is what we recycled last six months. Here you go. And so after a few days of uh, forced balancing, uh, we have perfect 10 millivolts delta. This is 95%. And uh, forced balancing will uh, permanently balance the battery pack at least in the range between six and eight millivolts delta. This battery is almost in the perfect condition, uh, which is rare after nine years to find one. This is original battery pack at 260,000 kilometers. And uh, we will now go to the workshop and check the check the second uh, case we got from uh, from Zurich Swiss P85D to see uh, the difference between two different issues when you have a BMS 0, uh, 018. And this is the case number two, 028 from uh, Switzerland, Zurich. Uh, this is our di diagnostic report. We had issues on the block one and block two, but uh, the main issue was the bit, bit the block two. We figured out after measuring that we have something around uh, 11 problematic cells on the brick number one and brick number four with five difficult uh, and problematic cells. That means with increased uh, resistance and uh, there was no uh, vampire drain on, on them with self-discharge. We will access only those bricks and try to change all the cells. Uh, but in this case, uh, it was uh, questionable how sustainable this is. We changed the complete block already refurbished from another car with similar uh, amp hours, with similar capacity. So uh, customer don't wait and usually need four or five days for test, sometimes even more. So we will force the balancing with my block and uh, we will road test the car. This is example, uh, this when we are not sure if it's uh, sustainable to change all those some 17 cells, uh, it's too much labor. We will probably disassemble this block. And uh, in those cases, when you have 029 and 0, uh, 018, we never do uh, reach rebuilds mass that means we don't cut only th that cell which is uh, completely dead uh, in that case you will need to cut all six bricks in one block and all 96 bricks in complete battery pack you cannot can cut only one you need to cut uh, one cell in every brick so we never do that uh, that's not professional and in this case, when we change cells directly in the, inside the block, you need some expensive equipment to fuse the, uh, to wire bond the fuse or a laser weld or arc weld or whatever. Uh, those tools are really, really expensive and we cannot show exactly how we drill and everything else, how we exit the cell, uh, because this is not something uh, do it yourself a lot of of lot of owners we will tr will try and maybe uh, 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 hurt someone or or themselves trying to change only one cell for them is it's much easier to change a complete block but in this situation we we want to keep uh, as much as possible sustainable way of repairing the battery packs we already did something around 10 different uh, cars from 10 different customers uh, those cars, uh, the first car we, when we did uh, uh, cell extraction on Model S, this this was the first one. Uh, this car is still driving. It was the Block Nine. I don't. I think it was Brick Two, something like that. And we changed only one cell, and this car is still driving. There are cases when one cell is, uh, 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 let's see, let's call them ghost cells. They are. They were already in uh, defect in manufacturing, but they hold eight nine years and they, they died now 
so it doesn't mean that uh, some other cells will lie in uh, in uh, let's say five six days or one or one month or anything else so we are pretty sure that in 90 percent of cases we, we don't ex expect car to return with some other cell in another brick uh, to die uh, because we have samples when it didn't we did model three on on, on one uh, taxi car and which is which made already something around 40 50 thousand kilometers uh, seven months ago uh, that means even model 3 cell extraction is sustainable uh, model s is sustainable and in my opinion the worst battery pack on on planet earth is is that is is the battery pack which you cannot repair this is the the the, uh, the basic statement of any uh, technician who is working on battery packs for example, model, uh, a Nissan Leaf is one of the worst battery packs because you cannot repair only one cell and expect to, to hold uh, because the complete battery pack is pretty overheated. And uh, in, for in, 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 in cases with Tesla battery packs, it's a complete, completely different situation. Uh, we have, we have uh, proven that those battery packs, if there is no moisture and if it's uh, uh, well cared about car and everything else they can hold almost 600,000 kilometers that's that's the the, the, the i think the the top uh, mileage for one battery pack which uh, when you will need to change it and uh, if battery pack fails earlier for one cell that means that this was the ghost cell and you can expect if you repair one cell it will hold uh, this one is P85D, and we can we, we measured the cells, internal resistance, and everything. This battery pack is is worn out almost like uh, uh, S85 with 500,000 kilometers, and this is P85D, and I think this is this this power train is uh, wearing off uh, really really badly. Those 85 packs, I think the 85 pack for performance dual drive is too too small and uh, you can expect from those cars to die prematurely between 200 300,000 kilometers with bad uh, block like this one so guys uh, subscribe and uh, we will release more videos on those topics with different battery packs and see you